Guys, where have you been? You're late to the party. It's now like 9 a.m. I've been up since half five, quarter six. We've been swimming. We did a kilometer in the pool. It sucked. I didn't really fancy it today. Why is that so shiny? So shiny. So what I did was an extra couple of lengths because I didn't fancy it. And people were probably going, well, why would you do that if you didn't fancy it? Win the mind. Sounds really deep, but win the mind, you win the battle. So, We've got a lot on today. I also want to say a massive thank you to the guys over at Honda. Honda has sponsored part of this video. How do I get to say that? Like, just think, when you grew up, oh yeah, just you know, Honda, they're just sponsoring part of this video today. Mental, still blows my mind, I've been doing this for so long. But I've got a really cool car that I'm gonna be testing out today. So you can come along with me on that. We've got a load of training to get sorted. I've got a lot of clients to get sorted. First of all, I need to get my breath back. First really exciting job of the day for you guys to witness is going the washing out. Enjoy. That's enough of that. Right, the washing machine's on, which means there's another load, but the wife is home. So let's get outside. Let's go have a look at this car, shall we? Because when I saw it, it was dark. Okay. Got foldy wing mirrors, I'm a happy boy. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay, so when the uh, the owner of Honda rang me up and was like, Leon, Leon, you just pop one of my uh, new cars out, H the new HRV hybrid. I was like, yeah, go on, mate. What, what, what's the, what's the haps? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It doesn't obviously happen like that. But basically, there's two reasons I really wanted to do this. One, well, there's three actually. One was because there is a little bit of a, a personal reason in this. My business lease ends in February, and I don't know whether to go hybrid or full electric or kind of stick with what I've got. So I have to test drive a few different cars anyway over the next couple of months. And they came in and was like, it's a hybrid, it looks banging, it performs really well. I was like, okay, I'm in. Two, well, one of you guys is gonna get the option to test drive it yourself. I'm gonna give away a few experiences for you guys and girls. All you gotta do is check out the description box below to know how. And three, was because the exact title of this campaign, and I, it, it, it kind of, it was quite sobering, <laughs> was a real world review. And 18 year old Leon came out for about 30 seconds, went, huh, naught to 60. Does it do donuts? What, how big are the alloys? Is there a big spoiler? And then suddenly I went, no, a real world review for me is the really obvious important things. Because as we get older, it's not necessarily about all of that stuff. That stuff's great, but it's about fuel efficiency. It's about the comfort. It's about the drive. It's about the technology on the inside. How does it feel? How comfortable is it? Like look, that little tone letting you in, that kind of stuff. How does the baby seat, does the baby seat fit all right? Is there a little bit of leg room? What's the boot space like? This is gonna get sexy, I know. We've got a full <laughs> real world <laughs> review to do and I'm really excited because I love I love driving different cars and I've got in and you know when you get that new car smell. Oh yeah. So let's have a little bit of a look about. First of all, big screen in the middle. Second of all, always oh, got heated seats. I've just felt that lovely little digital display. I'm I'm very impressed with the overall look on the inside it's looking really nice plenty of little screen bits and pieces for me to play with all touch screen this one is an automatic love an automatic nowadays but yeah very very nice so as i said there's going to be 50 opportunities to take this for a test drive and one of the things i really like is that the boldness and the confidence of the hrv range that they've said their promise is to be fully electric by the end of 2022 and this is again another giant leap forward with that so should we take this for a little bit of a spin and see what it's like at the moment? Oh, that's really warm on my bum. That's really nice. First up, does the baby seat go in properly? Tell you what, no dramas there. Plenty of leg room, so it's not gonna be booting the back of my seat or mummy's seat. While we're parked up here, next test. When we talk about real world, let's get some explosions in there. 
I need to make sure, really importantly, that the cup holder fits a coffee from the drive-thru because that is one of the things that I do pretty much every day. So let's go and find out whether the coffee cup goes in the coffee holder. Costa, how can I help you today? Good morning, mate. Can I just get a flat white, please? Of course you can. Did you want to try it with our stronger blend today? No, thank you. That's fine. And can I interest you in the size of our golden caramel cake today? Oh, no, thank you. No worries. Would you like to make your way around? Cheers. He was keen. Perfect. Thank you very much. And you. So I'm very relieved to tell you that the coffee fits in the coffee cup holder. Well played. Next up, we've got to fly home because I've got a couple of client calls. We're going to get some food on the go and we need to talk a little bit about training over the winter. Let's do it. I really hope it passes this, which is how easy does it connect to your damn phone? Let's find out. Connect new device. Okay, let's see if it's on here. Come on. We are paired. Okay. Okay. Hey, anyone who's got a car knows how annoying it is to try and connect new phones. That took around 25 seconds. One thing that I offer at this time of the year, and a lot of coaches are like, why would you do that? Because it takes so long. It's about value and quality when it comes to coaching. Your reputation for any PTs or button PTs out there, anyone who works in a one-to-one -one basis with people, your reputation is everything. Value is all perceived. It all comes down to what that person feels they get in return for their investment. So at the end of the day, when it comes to coaching, for me, my value is about giving people time when they need it or when I perceive that they're going to need it most. This time of the year, as a coach, over and over and over again, every single year, we always have, I've always had, this time of the year where people start to struggle. They're like struggling with the goals, struggling with the motivation, and we like to blame it on it being a little bit colder, being a little bit darker, that kind of stuff in the UK. And that's not what the crux of the matter is. That's another excuse and another reason we put in place to, sorry, but be really soft on ourselves. And I used to be exactly the same. And I realized that, you know, as much as I'm not really in that bodybuilding world, I used to think, I was like, how is it? There's this disparity, I guess, where aesthetics can't be the only goal. There can't be. It's not good for the physical and mental health long term and that motivation, if you want to lean on motivation. But how is it that bodybuilders still manage to go all year round? This is a question I used to struggle with and I'm like, I'm always telling people to think more about performance, longevity, health, all that kind of stuff. But they're, I'm also going, but bodybuilders are still going every single day and everybody else is struggling. And I realized one thing that bodybuilders have, rightly or wrongly, is they have their seasons, right? It's bulking season or it's cutting season. So you get to this time of the year and there is an obvious switch in the intensity and the direction and the way in which that they train. And guess what that does? It switches things up. They bulk, they eat more calories, they do a strength protocol. There's a complete shift. Everything changes in the way that they approach the gym. And then in the summer, they go the opposite way. And I realize I'm like, most people when it comes to the day-to-day -day athletes who wanna just do more, be healthy, have a nice relationship with their food and with self. That's where the problem is. We have one set of goals all year round and we think that they're always going to fit. We're all vain, we all wanna work on the aesthetics, great. But when it comes to the darker, colder times of the year, we're wearing more layers, we're not taking our clothes off as much in that context. And unfortunately, those goals, you know, maybe we're working for a holiday or a wedding or something like that, those goals aren't as important, they don't matter as much at this sort of time of the year. So one of the things that I now do now, which is my first call today, and I've got about 30 or 40 of them to do, is I sit down with my clients over on Zoom, and I'm like, right, where are we at? Let's evaluate how this year's gone, or this last three months, or this last six months. Those goals made sense, they might still make sense to you in exactly the same way as they did, and then we can just tick it off and go, great, let's continue on this direction. But also as well, we have the opportunity to sit down, I, I get to ask the question, they get to come back to me and ask their own questions about, okay, maybe I actually thought this mattered, but now it doesn't really matter so much anymore. Can we change directions? Can we do this? Can we do that? And what you start to realize is that long-term relationship and health when it comes to fitness and movement is about having different goals for different times. It's not always just about 
wanting to lose fat or wanting to lose weight or wanting to build muscle or wanting to run a fast 5k. We have different goals for different times of the year for different versions of who we are. And that's exactly why I like to put these calls in now because this is where the energy starts to dip. And those old goals, they're not old goals, maybe they're just summer goals, don't tend to matter so much. So if you're somebody who falls into that category, maybe it's time to have a little bit of a reevaluation of what's important at what time of the year. Think on. Oh, another client call done. You know what? My clients don't ever realize this, I don't think, because, you know, there's that thing of coach and client. But even though we're talking about our clients' wants, needs, goals, lives, habits, routine, training, whatever, aspirations, I get so much energy from that. So much energy. Like I've come away from that call with my client, um, Lehman, who's a really cool guy over in the States. And I've just got so much energy. I'm like, yes, I can't wait to see who he's now going to become even more awesome, um, or how he's gonna become even more awesome than he already is. And this is the thing, it's, it's a two-way street. Everybody's different, that was the front door, I'm gonna ignore it for a second. Everybody's different, but my energy for my clients is reciprocated back and forth, and oh, I love it. Maybe I'm too invested, but I like it. Re this is a really, really important test for me as a dad. You know what, I'm gonna do it, I need to get it off my chest. <laughs> Scrap that, can't do that test because the wife has taken the car, the other car, with the push chair in the back of it. I wanted to see whether the push chair would fit in the back. But, do I fit in the back? The answer's yes, I fit in. That's a pretty damn good boot. And I like this. This is simple things. Now, for safety reasons, I do not recommend trying that at home <laughs> yourself, unless you've got the key in your hand, because it has got the boot opener on the back. Um, but yes, you can fit in. So I can guarantee if this physique can fit in there, a push chair can fit in there as well. Really important test, honestly. Top Gear Who. First things first, into the knocko fridge we go. Better leave them on today. First up, very simple, but equally very effective. Back squats, heavy and tempo. So on these really run intensive programs, I like to do what I call like a pyramid scheme when it comes to my lifting. I don't like to do too many top sets as in maintaining at the top weight because my legs just feel absolutely trashed. So what we did was a simple pyramid, five reps, super slow reps at 110, then four at 120, three top set, three at 130, then went back down the pyramid the other side. It's a decent amount of volume still in the legs, but it's not a constant really heavy bar from first to last set. It just really helps the head that it feels like, oh, it's getting a little bit easier at the end. Anyone else hit a point in the day where they're like, it's gonna take another coffee. I've got a couple more things to do. First of all, I need to go back to the car because I need to pick jacks up and get the, there's, it doesn't matter how cool a car is, how well it works or how efficient it is. If it doesn't get the seal of approval from jacks, none of it's, none of it's relevant. So we're gonna find out whether jacks likes the car. I need to walk this guy, Stephen. Would you like to go for a walk? Go for a walk? He's like, I don't trust you because you're not moving. We need to tie this day up in a nice little bow. Right, most important test coming up. Will Jax approve? Yeah. Got to show Jax to see what Jax thinks. It's good. It's good? Yeah. Yes, Dad. 
Daddy. Have I got yes? Well, it's because Daddy's just test driving it. Is it nice? Yeah. So me and Jaxie are going to go in, have a warm milk, watch a movie, chill out, wait for Mum. I've just realised as well, the car's running. That is how quiet it is. So I'm going to wrap this vlog up. It's been a great day. I want to say a massive thank you to Honda. The HRV gets a massive thumbs up from me. That kind of rhymes. If you want to find out more about it or the competition to get a test drive yourself, check all the links in the description box. Again, it's been an absolute pleasure working with these guys. Can I keep it? This is, yeah, can I keep it? Thanks so much for watching, people. I will see you in the next one.